So I'm going to show you in this uh, short tutorial how to enable hot reload or light reload for your Spring application. So I have this application running. So I'm going to show you how to enable hot reload using Spring Boot DevTools. And you'll be able to save changes and then your application is going to the page will automatically reflect, refresh. So here are the four steps you need to follow. So these are just the four steps. Um, if you follow these four steps, it will uh, be, it will be possible to have auto reload. So now if I refresh the page, nothing happens. So if I go to the template page, for instance, and I remove this one that says, yes, oh man, <laughs> you say, hey man, oh yes. Okay, I remove it and save, and then go to reload the page. Uh, nothing happens, it's still there. I have to restart the application, for instance. I have to stop the application and then uh, restart it before the page is gonna take, before the changes will take effect. So let's take, now if I refresh, uh, it works, okay? So let's take the steps so that you can see how it works. So the first step you need to take is to add the Spring Boot DevTools dependency. So you can go to MVN repository and then we can get the Spring, uh, Spring Boot DevTools. Spring Boot DevTools. So you got to get this dependency uh, right here. So let me use maybe 3.1.0. And normally the version matters. So uh, let me show you what how it works. So if the version you use actually did not work, we have to use another one. So I placed this this dependency right here, but I think I'm going to change the version. So if I start typing three points, uh, it gives me two points. So I'm going to just use this one, all right? For some reason, the version above three doesn't work. And the second step we want to take, let's go back to the steps, is to add, okay, disable caching. Okay, so to this disable caching, you go to application, the properties, and you, you have to add the the key to disable caching and it's simply you have to say spring spring time leap cache is equal to false okay the next step you want to take is to enable automatic uh project build in settings so head to settings in windows is settings but here is preferences and go to uh build execution execution and deployment go to compiler and you have to check build project automatically right here i've done it already so now the step four says add the live reload scripts okay so i'm going to just add i'm going to show you the live reload scripts so um this is what it looks like so this is a live reload script we are going to add it to the home to the index page of our application so for me it will be then that page should be the layout page. So let me just go to the layout page. And I'm going to add this in the head section of, okay, I already added it to right here, okay? So at this point, we've completed the four steps, right? So my CPU is making lots of noise. So let's see if we can quickly complete this. So I'm going back here now. So if I run the application and I make a change, let's see if it reloads automatically. So I'm running the application now and I'm going to come here and simply add one header tag h1 and say oh yes okay now by the way if you look at the the logs if you look at the logs you see that the the Spring Boot dev server started also right here on port 35729 Okay, so I'm running the application now. Okay, let me, I think I have to restart. So let's see if it works. So I've added something, uh, oh yes, and yeah, I don't know what I'm writing, but let's just leave it this way. So I've made a change. I'm going to save it and see if it works. So let's save all and see. Okay, it doesn't work because there is one more step you need to take. We need to add scope to the dependency so if you go back to your form.xml we have to tell the system that this will happen only uh, will happen on run at runtime and we also have to set the optional to be true optional to be true so this will now make it work perfectly well so i'm going to stop everything and i'm going to start running the application 
so let's go make changes so now if i refresh this is fine okay this is fine so let's make changes now and see if it will automatically reload so i'm going to simply delete the h1 tag i'm deleting it and i'm going to save file save all and now you see that it's going to refresh automatically and let's just add something else is h1 please subscribe to my channel this is what i tell everyone subscribe because this kind of motivates me to do more please hit the subscribe button so let me save and just see so i'm going to press ctrl s on my keyboard and watch what happens there it updates right there so this is how to enable auto reloads on your spring boot up spring boot application using timely and using spring boot dev tools i'd like to stop here more tutorials on building applications are coming i remain kind on the tech pro and i'm always there for you bye